Hello, this is David Hughes. I'm a recording engineer at Shine On Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to export your audio so that you can make it a WAV or MP3 file to put up on your website or share with your friends or add to your SoundCloud account. So I've got a session here, and I've highlighted a small section. I actually just want to export this section. Now, if you want to export everything in the session, don't highlight anything. But if you only want to export a certain part of your mix or your recording, you need to highlight it. And you just do that by using the grabber or hand tool. Click on it, and it turns a shaded color. And then you go up to File here. And then we're going to go down to Bounce to Disk. That is going to bring up the bounce window. Now you need to make sure that your bounce source is set to your main outputs. In most cases, that's going to be output 1 and 2. I'm using an analog summer, so it's some 1 and 2 on my system. You can tell it what type of file you want to create. And you can make a wave, or you can make an MP3, or you have some other options here, which are not as common. So they're really for audio files that know what they want to make. Most of you will just be making WAV files or MP3. Now, if you're going to be putting this up on the internet, I highly recommend MP3 because they're smaller files, they will download faster, and the audio quality for the most part isn't going to be too different. Now, if you're an audio file, you know there's a huge difference in audio quality. But in most cases, most people put this on their iPod or their phone or something like that, and it's going to wind up as an MP3 anyway. So you might as well save them the time by creating an MP3. Now, don't make a multiple mono. That's going to give you two tracks, the left and the right separate. You want them together. So we're going to do a interleaved track. And then I am going to make sure that this bounces out at 44.1 kilohertz. That is the typical sample rate for audio playback. And then if you want to share it, you could set up your SoundCloud or Gobbler account right here, and it will post it automatically to your account and take an extra step out of what it is that you're doing. I'm going to click None so that I can show you how to uh, add it directly to a folder where you'll be able to find it and either upload it to Dropbox or do whatever you want with it. Now, uh, we're going to convert after the bounce. This is usually checked. And then you could add it to your iTunes library as well if you want, just by clicking this box here. I'm going to skip that step. And we're just going to go right now to the bounce. And you will see that it's going to bring up another window here. And this is the MP3 metadata info. And this is the stuff that will pop up in iTunes. So you got to make sure you name it right. So this track is Minstein, and I'm just going to put my name, and I'm going to put Shine On as the album. No comments, and then this is Instrumental. So I'm going to scroll down here and find the Instrumental. And then you can give it uh, an order in the album if you want, and iTunes will recognize that. Now at the top here, you do have a couple of options. Uh, I recommend encoding at the slowest speed, which is the highest quality. And also the bitrate, 320 is as high as you can get with an MP3. A lot of stuff in iTunes is automatically done at 192 or 160 or even 128. So check your iTunes settings and um, Make the MP3 that's the best fit for you. Obviously, as you lower the bit depth here, that the audio file size is going to shrink. But even at 320 kilobits, it's not that big. Usually, most MP3s are around 5 to 10 megabytes, so they can be emailed. You don't have to worry about that. And let's go ahead and click OK. It's going to ask me where I want to save it now. I am going to go into the folder by clicking here, and this is the main folder for the song. I'm going to create a new folder, Shift-Command-N, and I am going to do underscore mp3. And I do the underscore so that it puts it at the top of the list here. Uh, this always is alphabetized, and so mp3 now is at the top. And I'm just going to call this Miss Thine DLH Mix 1. And you can hear that it is going to export. Turn that 
up a little bit. That's just I'm just controlling the audio that you're hearing. This is not controlling the mix that is being bounced. So that is all being done within Pro Tools. And while this window is floating, you can't change any of the parameters of Pro Tools. You have to wait. And it shows you the countdown. And now it's done. So let us take a look at my finder window here and let's go into the record drive and under my name here we have the mp3 and we should be able to play it back and there we go so we have the mp3 now on our drive and you can do anything you want with it at this point add it to your iphone put it up on the web add it to soundcloud but now you actually have a physical file that is mixed down of your entire mix. So everything that you did in Pro Tools, everything that was done over here, all the plugins, all the auxiliaries, all the little techniques and tricks you did, that will all bounce out. There's other ways to do this, which I will go over in a little bit more advanced video later on. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try to do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Please check out my YouTube channel and check out other videos that we've posted here showing you how to mix and edit in Pro Tools. We've also got some recording techniques and some producing techniques that might help you out. Thanks for watching. This is David Hughes at Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. If you want more info about the studio or you want to reach us for recording, mixing, or producing services, Check us out on the web at shineonstudio.com.